Hey friends, welcome to another Sprinter Van video. You can see we're hard at work. We're actually making some doors for our shelving in here. But while we're doing that, we have a few more parts that arrived, specifically some floor mats. So we're going to be installing those today, showing you a very cheap, very good option for getting that Sprinter Van looking pretty slick, pretty nice up front. Let's jump into it. Okay, so like I said, forgive the mess back in here. Basically, what we're concentrating on are these guys right here. These are floor mats that arrived today from Amazon. If you're interested in purchasing these for yourself, we'll put links in the description box below. They were roughly $60, and they're designed with a very specific cut, so they fit our model of Sprinter Van. Now, again, make sure when you're using those links below that you select your model of Sprinter Van. Uh, but basically, these have a really nice uh, covering that conform to kind of the area that's up front. Now, again, this isn't a single piece that kind of goes over that midsection. It's two separate pieces. So we're going to show you how uh, these install. Let's get them out of the plastic here and we'll show you what's up. Okay, so let's take a look at the passenger side first. You can see we've got uh, this actual extra edge that goes up over the middle section. So this is where the two pieces come into play instead of a single one piece that kind of flows through the whole front of the cabin. This is obviously cut out for where the door section is and then this flaps up kind of in the front to protect the, uh, the covering there. So again, we can kind of put this into place and see how it conforms to our 2012 spread. Okay, so here is the passenger side of our van. You can see we don't have any floor mats in at this time, and the floor just looks dirty. It does have this kind of gray speckled kind of texture to it. I know it's hard to see on camera, but over the years it really just has gotten dirty. So we need to lay something really nice over this area just to clean it up up here. Now, as you can see, there's all sorts of different contours in the floor here all the way up into this area where your feet rest. So again, this is important to have a rubber piece that fits this area. Okay, these actually laid in flat and they're looking really great so far. You can see the contours match perfectly for what we need them to do. We have this footrest area that goes all the way up to the top. And this kind of contours over, you can see right around the console edge right there, and then lays flat right on the center. So that is looking really, really sharp so far here on the passenger side. Let's get the driver's side in. All right, Aspen Pup is kind of watching our install today. This is the driver's side. You can see it has that conforming footrest over on the left-hand side. And then again, everything's really nicely shaped for the contours. Let's go ahead and pop this guy into place. Okay, really briefly, again, you can see how dirty this gets underneath here. We've got the footrest that lifts up a touch on the side there. Let's go ahead and put down the new mat and see how it fits. Okay, there's the floor mat slid into place. I would say this side fits just a touch less perfectly. And I think it's primarily because of our build. We've got a well, battery wire that's coming out of the floor here. And so that's creating a little bit of a pushback. We also have, because of packaging, you can see it's bubbling a little bit here. But again, it rests up fairly decently against that other side. There is a little bit of room, obviously, in between these two. Maybe this one can go up on top like that. And this may just be a little bit of time needed for this rubber to kind of flatten out and really match up well with the floor. But again, just for how cheap these things are, again, we got them for right around 50, 60 bucks. Put links in the description box below on Amazon. I'm really happy with that. It really cleans up this front end, makes things look so much nicer. A couple other features here that we can check out. You can see that they're odorless, which I can confirm. I don't smell any kind of a deep rubber. There's an anti-slip uh, feature to them. It's got this 3D kind of rubberized um, thing here for traction. Again, that uh, will get a little bit dirty, I'm sure, but uh, not too bad traction there. Temperature resistant, waterproof. It's got uh, TPE premium material, abrasion resistant, anti-allergic, and it's obviously easy to clean with their advertising. All right, friends, if this has helped, hit that thumbs up button. Stay tuned. We're making a ton more Sprinter Van tutorial videos, as well as other little cool accessories like these formats. Those will be coming out soon. Subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next one.